In just a few hours, Southwest Airlines enters a new era, adding seven international flights, the first in Southwest history. Flights from Atlanta, Baltimore, and Orlando will land in Aruba, Montego Bay, Jamaica, and Nassau in the Bahamas. More destinations and flights will be added in the months ahead, and all of them will be controlled by dispatchers working at the airline's new operations center at Love Field in Dallas. NBC 5's Kevin Coakley is the first reporter to get a look inside. He is live there tonight in the center of it all. Looks cool, Kevin. Yeah, it is pretty cool, Brian, but don't adjust the color on your set because this really is what it looks like here. This soft blue light is just the first thing you notice inside the new operations center. Keeping Southwest flying has never been easier or more high tech. Dispatch Mike. So our dispatchers plan our flights uh, from the from its departing city all the way to its rival city and all points in between. Bathed in blue light to be easy on the eyes, Southwest Airlines' new network operations control center fills nearly 50,000 square feet, bringing together in one room more than 200 dispatchers and other working groups. A $30 million investment in the future of the country's largest domestic carrier. I'm watching all your flights. NBC5 got an exclusive first look inside, where hundreds of high-tech workstations adjust at the touch of a button. These folks, are, they're dedicated. Their heads, their heads are deep in the operation for 8 to 10 hours a day. Uh, so we want to provide an, an environment where they can you know, be, at, be calm uh, and be able to focus on the, on the issues that they have. We have uh, in-flight leadership flat operations leadership. Right in the middle, a new nerve center called The Bridge. Different leadership groups working side by side to resolve issues and keep planes safely in the air. We want to make sure that we have the right people in the right place to help facilitate good decisions. Overhead, huge flat screen monitors provide the latest information, tracking the airline's 3,500 daily flights. Uh, we've provided a big grand room for our, our decision makers and our planners uh, to see what the operation is telling us. Uh, the visual cues to help them make smarter decisions farther in advance to provide the highest level of service. And right now they're tracking some severe weather in Chicago that's affecting a lot of flights, many of them being diverted to other nearby airports. Here in North Texas, though, this may be one of the safest places around. The room is built to withstand a F3 tornado, a secure place to keep planes in the air and flights on time. Live in Dallas, Kevin Coakley, NBC5. Interesting. Thank you, Kevin.